Whoa, look at this. Dr. Wally finally gets captured by Mega Man. And finally arrested. It's about time. Trying for the last Mega Man. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Notorious Dr. Wally and brought him to justice. About time. Took six tries. Sentenced to prison for his crime. Sentenced to death. That's what it should say. Dr. Wally now rules over a prison cell. At long last, the world is at peace. And for a game made by Capcom, well, this ending kind of reminds me of the Street Fighter ending where you get the best ending on the old Street Fighter 2 games and it shows the your character fighting or the, that character fighting then it shows them hang on you know I don't even remember never mind uh, and yeah so we get to see the old characters Blizzard Man was okay his stage nah, Blizzard Man was kind of bunk his stage and music's pretty cool though Centaur Man everything about this person the person everything about, about this robot is pretty cool that's the most most unique robot master I've ever seen in any Mega Man game. Okay, and Flame Man. He's okay. His stage is not bad. The music's okay. But like I said, the beginning of his music sounds like you know somebody waking up in the morning and just starting their day off or something. It's kind of lame, but anyway. Yes, Nightman. Lame battle. Lame battle, but awesome stage and awesome music. Let's find out who created Nightman. Like I said, it wasn't he wasn't created by Capcom. He was created by a Nintendo Power Contest winner. And that person's name is Daniel Val Valley. If I said it right, it has to be awesome to see your credit in a video game. I mean, like when you win a contest like that, it's pretty cool. Um, oh, now don't give me a start on this douche. You know what? I'm not gonna even say anything because I, I I can't insult this douchebag even more but the stage music is not that bad the stage itself eh okay uh, I wouldn't have put my name um, in the credits to the, the, uh, the great plant man I wouldn't do that but uh anyway Tomahawk man pretty cool robot master stage music is pretty cool reminds me of Chief Thunder a bit And Windman, the second um, robot master created by a by the Nintendo Power Contest winner. Stage and music is pretty cool. Windman is pre pretty cool himself. Michael Leader, all right. Um, Yamato Man, not a bad robot master. Stage is pretty cool and the music's not that bad. So there you go, that's the end of Mega Man 6, which would be the last Mega Man game in the original series up until Mega Man 7 for the SNES, Mega Man 8 for the PS1, and then many years later. Mega Man's 9 and 10 for the uh, Wii Virtual Console or 360 or PS3, whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, but this will be the last NES Mega Man game, but not the last 8-bit Mega Man game, as 9 and 10 came out later on. Um, and then this game, Mega Man 6, was released in 1993, I believe, the same year Mega Man X was released for the Super Nintendo, and then that's where Capcom started the X series. And... So yeah, right here is making history. I mean, watching the ending right here is kind of sad because this would be the last NES Mega Man game. But when Mega Man 9 came out, it was themed toward Mega Man 2, and that was awesome nostalgia. That was pretty cool right there. Well, guys, that is it for my LP of Mega Man 6. And if you care to watch the Mega Man X Let's Play on the S2K channel, please check that out. All right, guys, that is it. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. And take care.